There are a couple of apocalyptic films that I really, really enjoy. And sometimes the actual apocalypse is happening, so I decide to revisit these apocalyptic films and figure out how they hold up. Welcome to Vanessa Jupiter's sitting room. This is It Comes at Night in 2020. For the uninitiated, It Comes at Night is a 2017 horror movie about a disease that has already assailed most of the country, the world. It's never made really clear. All we know is that there is a family that is trying to stay safe from a disease. This one family that we're following is going to meet another family and they're going to see how the two families can make living through the apocalypse easier. Alongside the plot of the two families getting to know each other, there's also the coming of age narrative of Trevor. I somehow got the name of the character wrong, even though it was written correctly in my notes. His name is Travis and not Trevor. Trevor is the adolescent child of the family that we're following the most. We see his growth through the movie, while he tries to make sense of the grief and the desperation of the situation. I think that It Comes at Night could have been more memorable if it either had committed to being just Trevor's story and therefore we all know that this is what we are supposed to care about, or if it had made the other characters more interesting and more engaging and more memorable. It didn't. Watching it in 2020 is weirdly non-topical given what's happening in the world. I would have expected It Comes at Night to be this movie that I'm like, wow, this is exactly what we want in 2020 given that it's a disease movie. And yet, it fails to give us what we have come to know from an actual disease in the actual world. There's a lack of sadness when it comes at night. I would expect these characters to grieve a lot more. We see glimpses of Trevor's grief, but never from the rest of the family. For a movie that is so centered around a disease that kills people, the concept of death is surprisingly absent. I disagree with myself too. I just tried to record a video talking about how it comes at night fails as a movie when pitted against the real-life horror that is being the pandemic in 2020. And somehow I failed. I actually think I like It Comes at Night. I think I like It Comes at Night a lot more than I thought I did. So welcome to Vanessa Jupiter's sitting room. And this is a lukewarm defense of It Comes at Night. But I don't think that the group of It Comes at Night is particularly memorable. I stand by that. I don't think it's particularly memorable. I think that the, the only memorable character in It Comes at Night is Trevor. But Trevor is such a good character. His growth in the movie. And we see his nightmares. And we see his grief for his grandfather. And we see him having to deal with the fact that death is at the corner, at every corner, and having to come to terms with the fact that if he comes to like people, he might lose them because there is a disease going on around right now. It's just so bleak. It's a really, really bleak movie and a really, really dark story. And I think it works. I think... It works even in the context of 2020 when I put it in those terms. That we suddenly have to come to terms with the fact that we might 
all know someone who won't make it this year. Originally, I wanted to make the criticism that grief never plays a real role within It Comes at Night. The whole point of the story is that Trevor's parents indeed don't seem to be grieving too much, but that's because they have become hardened, and this is framed as a bad thing. Trevor has not given up hope. Trevor still doesn't want people to die. Another criticism that I wanted to make is the lack of government presence within It Comes at Night and how the main source of conflict is the little people, the people without privilege, without political power, and how dissatisfying and unrelatable that is in the context of COVID-19, where the biggest evil in our current world is the government, the governments from the West, that are just not protecting us at all in order to keep capitalism going. The way that it comes at night portrays the little people, the people without power, and how we interact with each other, that's interesting in itself. Yes, I set out to say that it comes at night doesn't really work in 2020, and I walked myself into a corner by realizing that I actually think it does. A little bit of housekeeping. If you are starting to get frustrated by the bad sound and image quality, so am I. I am <laughs> actually like invested in upgrading this. I don't think there's any chance that I'm going to stop doing it altogether. But it's also a reason for me to slow down. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Love. Vanessa Jupiter.